Alright, so this side is just pantyhose. Lights are double sided, they go down and back up. And then this side has a some fabric around it to diffuse it a little bit. Alright, so I sprayed some glow-in-the-dark paint on this sort of white stuff and the video isn't showing up very well, but if we had a stronger black light, right now I just have this little one, but <clears throat> I could put a big one up inside of there and then it could glow at night and that would probably look pretty cool. Just something we can do, we can add a black light. Here's a video of just the underside being lit. But uh, this is a 30 watt. It looks pretty good at night. Video is not doing it justice. But we could also do a 50 watt. And this changes colors. And we can also potentially get one if we talk to your lighting guy that's uh, LED um, DMX controllable so that he can flash them with the trees. So here's with the drips and a light underneath and we get a nice pattern on the ground here and it illuminates the base of the mushroom so now the top, this one can be lit from, this is the 8 foot so there will be a taller one, a 12 foot one that will illuminate this top, but the real big one won't be able to be illuminated. So This is kind of a nice effect, having the light in there shining down. And you can also kind of see through, which is sort of cool. So now I'm putting this DJ light up inside of it. DMX controllable somewhere right there so that's going to go up in there you can see that other light what that one looked like but that one's not DMX and I would recommend a 50 watt also the other mushrooms are going to go higher up with the facade so you won't be able to see those two by fours all right so now we got DJ light on. Got a nice bright light that shines down. So this one doesn't necessarily fit in the 8 foot one very well, but it would definitely fit in the others. And this one's DMX and also goes to the sound. <laughs> 